There are as many sides to American music as there are to the American people, our great, varied, many-sided democracy. And perhaps that's the main quality of all, our many-sidedness. Think of all the races and personalities from all over the globe that make up our country. When we think of that, we can understand why our own folk music is so complicated. We've taken it all in, French, Dutch, German, Scotch, Scandinavian, Italian, and all the rest, and learned it from one another, borrowed it, stolen it, cooked it all up in a melting pot. So what our composers are finally nourished on is a folk music that is probably the richest in the world. And all of it is American in spirit, whether it's jazz or square dance tunes <coughs> or cowboy songs or hillbilly music or rock and roll or Cuban mambos or Mexican wapangos or Missouri hymn singing. It's like all those different accents we have in our speech. There's a little Mexican accent in the Texas accent, and there's a little Swedish to be heard in the Minnesota accent, and there's a little Slavic to be heard in Brooklyn, and there's a little Irish in the Boston accent, but they're all American accents. They've been absorbed. And now, as a final example of all this, I want you to hear part of the, of the Third Symphony by Aaron Copland, which has a lot of these American qualities we've been talking about jazz rhythms, and wide open optimism, and wide open spaces, and the simplicity, and the sentimentality, and a mixture of things from all over the world, a noble fanfare, a hymn, everything. But I have a special surprise for you. We've been lucky enough to get Mr. Copeland himself in person to come and conduct it for us. And now, you're going to meet a real American composer who has been through this whole development we've been talking about, grammar school, high school, college, even graduate school, and we could say that by now he has become the dean of all American music. I am proud to turn this podium over to Aaron Copeland.